All right, so uh, this is uh, this is Breath Edge, and another fifteen dollar game. Is that right? Uh, let me just do that. Okay, there we go. Um, this is uh, seems interesting. Uh, it's it's definitely not one to take itself super seriously. Okay, that that's the graphic quality we'll have. That's fine. Uh, it's an early access right now, and I have honestly been saying on this one a little bit, just been too busy. But we're doing it now. Let's hop in. Let's see what it's all about. Let's also have Snaz running. That probably helps. Okay. Uh, standard. Standard game. The best game mode is a moderate one. Um, can't do story. Can't do impossible. Can't do free. We'll do standard. If you get tired of playing, turn your monitor upside down and have a completely new experience from a different perspective. This game really is kind of clearly taking the piss. I like it. I wish I was one of your backlog games. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, Hyper? Fancy opening credits at the beginning of, a, of the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> From the creators of The Matrix. <laughs> There's been no news lately. <laughs> what? <laughs> 22 awards. Some other games received. Searching for this font took a path to development time. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Director <laughs> isn't needed here at all. Hi. The Red Ruin Softworks team is categorized against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases, and therefore we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. No, let him smoke. Probably would have been a lollipop. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. R2-D3. Ow. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defiant expression and spin the face of this piece of iron. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral of the liner explode radicals of Green Universe. Confirm? Oh, that's fine, Bruce Helmet. You have a good sleep. Uh, let's see. Spinning was a lousy idea. We agree. You better tell him your story first. You can still have your defiant impression expression. I want. I don't want to spit again. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral of the liner explode radicals of Green Universe. Confirm? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. There's gotta be something that happens if I do it, right? I, I'm assuming the head trauma will eventually kill me. You tell us all from the beginning, or violence. BDSM Fad Club Achievement Unlocked. Wow. Of the liner explode radicals of Green Universe. Confirm? Yes, I do like getting whacked by a robot. That's my that's my fetish, I guess. <laughs> Year 2073. All right. Somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Whoosh. Interstellar liner una unnamed. Your your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. Free advertising space. Uh, my old uncle died with his chickens. Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe Act is probably new terrorist attacks of burying any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. What? No, uncle! I was going to bury you elsewhere, not here. Oops. Oh. So I guess we're, we were on a little spaceship inside of a big spaceship, and the big spaceship had some problems? Looks like it. Chapter 1, Lost in Space. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. 
Could not see the shuttle from space. Not <laughs> true. No lie. Confirm. <laughs> I like the interruption. Continue a definitely unembellished story. All right. It never gets serious, just never does. The in-game encyclopedia can suggest the location of useful resources and their purpose. And maybe not suggest. Fair. <laughs> Spaceship is completely destroyed, had some problems. Well, that is a problem. Also, yeah, you can't. Hilarious survival. Ex exploration game. What What is wrong with your dialogue today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have begun. I didn't even get the. Ch oh, there's gum on my screen. That's annoying. I have a chicken. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Uh, uh... Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll fix it. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object oh. without any holes. That that, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't that didn't quite work. Oh well, let's see. Um, I mean, let's try. I mean, let's try re. Let's try plugging it back in again. All right, what else we got here? When picking up any oh, items, chewing gum. You can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. How do I stuff it? Tab the access. chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. I'm good. Remember, I'm the glad. funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, oh. or become depressed. I just can I just go explore outside? That's kind of great. By the way, there's no okay. There's gravity here. That's good. All right, what we got here? Examine. A typical calendar of girls, Mrs. Tinder. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember my childhood. Mrs. Simper from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some white strips from Grandpa's belt after this incident. Turn. Is there anything on the back? There is casual stains. I'll take it. Sure. What is Russian music, though? The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Oh. So we can use the toilet as an as an inventory collection system for space objects. Cool. Press F to relieve yourself. I mean, I'd like to, but it doesn't seem to be working. All right, this is this is a game is definitely intriguing. <laughs> this game is. All right, let's see here. Uh, what's this? Uh, expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its labels, always, always, although he always denied it and wrinkled his face while choking on this crap. Drink a dream, Chiku Belch. That's a fat chicken right there. I see. Grandpa's picture. One of the last photos of Grandpa who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here, and I couldn't help putting this photo in a frame. I don't know why I'm taking these things, why not? Uh, is there a videotape? I don't have any. No. Nice screen. What do you have here? New blueprint of an item. It is automatically oh. added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Okay. Survival Guide. Oh, we have a tape. A humorous survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from the movie and put it there. Some movie and put it there. I don't think such advice can be useful, but to be honest, the situation is somehow strangely familiar to mine. There's even the chicken there. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Here, let's play it. Actually, let's turn off the music first. Mm, so I have a stand. I have fabric. So it's a, it's a survival game that doesn't take itself seriously. 
This is this is fine. A picture of autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's for the times they went when their crazy gang went on, as they called it a space odyssey, which lasted almost a year. Put them on the blacklist of most bars and inhabited planets. They're really cool guys. All already gone. I don't know. I'll take everything. The chicken's portraits. The all photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken. A portrait of a dark background, a portrait of a light background, a master shot in the rain, a photo of it sitting heroically on a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me, and I can't even get rid of it by giving it to anyone. And it wasn't worth blowing bubbles in the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted me to sign on as a sprinter after that race. That, that day I flew. Immortal bird. Yeah, this thing doesn't seem to die. A good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. This jacket has outlived him. It will probably outlive me as well. What is this on the back? Let's see. 2064. That might be a code or something. Somebody remember 2064 and then an R. Let's see here. Page for the famous and only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It has been published for a long period of time as distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes an indispensable piece of trashy literature after a hearty dinner. Did I hear the word belch in the name of the bottle? Yes, you did. Uh... I can't really read all this, but there's space hearse blasts off. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my ghosts. Goats. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. All right. What a loud headline. But the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. All right. I, uh, oops. Actually, just kind of wanted to read it again. How do I? All right. Well, anyways, what we got here? Drill blueprint. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. Even with them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself. It had the will of Phillips, perhaps a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> All right. Got a processor here. Uh, right. I, hmm. oh, I see. Enhanced spacesuit. Same as the regular, but painted with lead paint for greater moral support against radiation. <laughs> Do not use while pregnant. Alright. Alright. So it looks like I need to get stuff to make stuff. Also, I have an ink and drink meter. Oh, what we got here? Book. Yes, exactly. You got it right. It's a book. It has pages inside, letters and numbers on the pages. It also has crumpled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It smells like a book, looks like a book, and tastes no different from a book. Good. Can rest. That's good. That's a nice view. Um, what do we got here? I need a scanner. I got a back scratcher. Extreme program on astronauts. Starting with this, you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. Nice. What else we got? got oh, the kitten that got drawn on. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and good one, even if the chicken, even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. <laughs> not good with animals, I can tell. I've always been good looking. Although my beard was not as thick in my childhood, by the age of three it got better. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. There's a 30 on the back of this. I don't know if that's important. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved Grandpa even more than the worms, I think. And Grandpa always returned the affection. So this chicken is literally immortal, I guess? T I don't know when I painted it exactly, but I remember that Grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and calling it alcohol linen. Why he hung it over his bed is a mystery. <laughs> Alright, what else we got here? My notion of starships in my childhood didn't differ much from my knowledge of them today. I drew this masterpiece at six or seven. I am still proud of it. Grandpa could have lived without space, but he loved his home very much, just like any astronaut. Thick electrical tape. What's in here? Oh, it's a container. Probably should just store all the random shit I don't... All this random crap I'm picking up. Probably... Probably don't really need it. I keep the drill proof, and I assume that's useful to keep on me. Alright. If it seems like it might have an inkling of use, I'll keep it on me. Uh, what's this? Pool. Okay. Physics in 50 volumes. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say that one who reads all 50 books will become the person who reads all these books. I mean, I guess that's a true statement. 
Dog beer. Oh, hello. The cheapest swill, drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows what waste of stuff is brewed. From what waste of stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, the beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. Well, at least it's, it's, it's basically a play on barks. Uh, use interphone. What do we got here? Do, do. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Okay, I will. I will do that then. At some point. What do we got here? Looks like India. Some I've never asked where this photo is from. Don't forget to feed the chicken. I completely forgot about it. Well, if it's a mortal, it's, if it's immortal, I assume that only makes it grumpy. It's not a big deal. Home phone number. Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. All right. Oh, here, a beer for a fat wolf like me. Are you a fat wolf? That is a good thing to be. I found the. I found another volume. Good. Do I need to like collect them all or something? Maybe. Right, so, um, we've got a video to watch. Have I missed anything in this? It's actually a rather densely packed, uh, little place we're in here. Not really sure if the beer is useful, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Right. Oh, here's a radio. I'll see you play. Let's oh, turn it off. Supposedly this is usable. Can't seem to use it. Well, we have a video. Let's, let's play it. Here we go. To pee or not to pee? Uh, uh, all right. Space, so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. Oh. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most opportune moment. Do not panic. This is wrong. Oh, okay. Try to keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources can lead to death. Lead you to death. This is wrong. <laughs> you can be on the computer electric you yourself. Explore the environment in search of aids or an analog of your most valuable equipment. Alright. This is wrong. <laughs> Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. <laughs> the chicken is just a useful item. With luck and intelligence, you do diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or acquire the most sophisticated way? Alright. Oh. You can also build, that's nice to know. Lovely. Sweet relief. No animals were harmed in the make of this instructional video except for the artist. Alright, thank you. Well. I suppose. Let's go out into space then. You can pee inside. Wait, what, what? Sorry? The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it sounds like I'll randomly get items from this occasionally. I don't really know how you check it, but I guess it'll just pop up. I don't. Of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. What's the central core? That? Is this a central core? No, I just need, I need a handy scrapper. I don't have that. Give me, no, there we go. Bottle of water. Oh, that's water. 
Frozen water. Taste of the usual spells also causes a painful burn in the mouth. It's recommended to swallow it immediately. Well, I mean, water is water, I suppose. I guess that would... Oh. Shit, that's not my, uh... It's not my... It's not my shuttle. Hold on. Alright. It's fine. Alright, what we got here? Can we, uh... Alright. Get some water. Thirst plus 30, ice times 2. What does that mean? Well, whatever. <laughs> Subnautica, but in space, I guess? I mean, I'm just gonna, like, grab items for right now, and then we'll work it out from there. Wow, there's, like, information on everything, right down to water. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to poke out, find items, come back, poke out again. Okay, so I can't really break much. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be oh. clarified. Come with me. <laughs> come with me, corpse. Come with me. We will go on an adventure together. There. I'll just collect people. This, this works. That's one purple. People. Do you have any items in you? Okay, I guess not. Well, enjoy your stay. You never grabbed your weapon. What weapon? I'm gonna just grab random things for starters. Oh, there's another guy. All right, come with me. Your handy- I know I have the handy scrapper, but it's not useful yet. I need to craft it into something useful. There's a second person. Emergency rations. Should probably drink something, actually. Let's see. There we go. I'm just grabbing shit. For starters. Nutrition package. That will be potentially useful. I need a handy scrap for that. Got a wire. Good thing they didn't electrocute me. Alright. Return quickly. What's that? Tape recorder. Right. I'm not sure why my brief breath meter was increasing while I wasn't in the ship or that it, well, I had the space open, but whatever, I'll take it. Just trying to grab some. There's a lot of water, which I guess is good. It's actually. The controls are kind of floaty, so it's very easy to overshoot and fly past something I want to pick up. If you're wondering why I do that sometimes. Okay, so big things. I, oh, scan the chair. Oh, I can't scan it. Ooh, alcohol. Console, can't break it. Whoosh. I need like an oxygen tank. Like, this is the first thing I need. <laughs> Pizzazz. Well. That's more of a zombie sort of thing to do. Uh, so can I, like... Yeah, let's see here. Fine metal. May as well make some. I, I'm assuming I need a... I need some blueprints so I know what I can create. This increases radiation protection. Grabber. Here we go. I need refined metal, battery, and aluminum. Okay, so... Make the refined metal just fine. So that's a start. Now I wonder if it actually keeps a track of... Let me see something. I need to know something. 
I'm gonna put the refined metal in here, and I want to check something. If the refined metal's in there, will it detect I still have it? No, I need it in my on my person to make it. Got it. That's fine. That's fair. To, uh, that's fair, I guess. Yeah, objective one is to make a grabber, I, I guess. I need battery. I need aluminum. I need battery. Right. Oh, wait. I Don't I technically have aluminum? I mean, after all, I have a can. I don't know. Okay, well, anyways. Back out! The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. That sounds okay, whatever. Oh, that's why I can't get into this room. <laughs> right, fair. Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. That's fine. That was a close call. <laughs> Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. All right, the antenna, I forgot about that. Let me just restore my oxygen in with this door open. That's fine. All right, wait, what, what antenna? This thing? What am I supposed to be doing here? I, I mean, there's electrical wires I don't want to mess with. Talk about this? That's sparking too, though. I'm not sure that's safe. What antenna? Oh, you mean this antenna? Assuming that's an antenna. Is that an antenna? What's an antenna? What here looks like an antenna? Oh, that looks like an antenna. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Oh, I saw the steering wheel. It was in a different area. Oh, I swear to God. If, if somebody playing loud music outside causes me to get a copyright claim because of the loud music playing outside. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. <laughs> Great. Good to know. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. <laughs> yes, I know. Well then, I mean, technically I have food, so I was gonna say I need some food, but then I realized I have some. And F Fedora Tipper Milady just followed. Thank you. <laughs> Let me drop a save. This is intriguing. All right, let's see. Kind of like yeah. Make more. I need two metal for this. Okay, sure, I'll make it. Oh, let's go find some metal then. That's ice. Oh, I see. I'm picking up ice, not water ball blobs. In my defense, it could have been either. Oh, can I break that? No, I can't. Metal, metal, metal. A little shard of metal somewhere. That's what I need. There we go. Oh, come on. This limited oxygen is really harsh in my groove. But I got what I need. Let's make it.
All right, I have it. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, use. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Yeah, I'm sure I can fix it. Using the Global Funeral Agency. Right, let's call for some help, shall we? The better spacesuit just increases radiation resistance. It doesn't actually help my... The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Fair enough. What is the crap I need to create that's imposed by developers? Oh, I actually do have a handy scrap. Uh, no, I can make the handy scrap for now. I just need more metal. Cool. Also this. Refined metal and thick electrical tape. Well, I can make a thick electrical tape. Do I have some? I feel like I... No, I got the recipe for it, though. Let's see. That requires rubber. I have one rubber. So I need rubber, a ton of metal. Yeah, that's basically what I need. All right. Oh, let's grab this mug. Hold on, wait. Let me examine that. <laughs> oh, no. Give me that. All right. Metal and tons of... Oh, hi, babe. Babe is impressed that I survived. Cool. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. <laughs> I forgot how I got rubber the first time, but it's fine. We'll start with metal. That'll get us a scrapper, which will probably make any rubber easier. This game is pretty competent, even Standard though it's totally taking the piss. Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. I don't know. I need a crowbar to do that. So wait, what? So was this like a funeral ship then, or? Huh, okay. <laughs> this is a shit post of effort put into it though. It was kind of weird. I don't see ship posts of effort put into them very often. Ship posts without effort are much more common. The babe wants to take off your helmet. You may make, hear me cry. Uh, yeah, it's totally, it's totally a good idea. Your interlocutor has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. What? I don't understand, but okay. <laughs> Where did I get that rubber last time? Because I need another one. At least I have a lot of space. I appreciate that. Appreciate a survival game giving me a lot of space, even if it's not giving me a lot of fucking air, but whatever. Actually, you know what? I have enough to make the... things I need. Well, one of the things I need. I need rubber still, but... I did pick up some rubber, but I, I completely blanked as far as what I looked for for that rubber, so... Uh, I'll have to figure that out. Let's make a handy scrapper, though. That'll help out. Some refined metal as well. And that leaves me with... Now I can almost make the crap imposed by the developers, or whatever it's called. Just need that thick electrical tape, that's all. Which, to make, I need more rubber? Yeah, I need more rubber. I have one rubber, I need another one. <clears throat> also, I got the, the scrapper now, so that's good. And <clears throat> we may as well make some more nutrition stuff.
Okay. I see a dangerous place on the radar. There's many life giving oxygen. You cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, you can explode. It's better to suffocate than a bird. What are you talking about? Hot babe is very confusing. So let's see. Well, I can get more wires. I may as well. I think I pretty much picked this one clean, but maybe there's some more wire. Maybe there's some more rubber somewhere. There's got to be more rubber here somewhere. You still know what I'm looking for. That's all. Oh, whoops. I almost forgot about you. Come here with me. <laughs> almost forgot about this resource. Come with me, friend. That's three. Now, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of wander over to another location. Let's go down here. Let's go here. Yeah, this works. I don't think this is too far. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will oh. need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. Oh. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. I'm not sure what happened to that guy. What? What is this weird goo? Oh, is it like... Oh, like water smashed? What the fuck? That's his blood. Oh my god, I just realized what's going on here. Everything froze, so it's... That's quite a scene. <laughs> That's quite a scene. I thought I was looking at some cool, like, technicolor thing, but then I realized it was just blood and water. So, like... I guess what happened was he got water around him and then the water froze and it smushed him. That's unfortunate. Toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Oops. So Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that they're... Oh. Poor fellow. For some reason, there's always been a lot of these rodents. Whether they ran away or multiplier were specifically bred, I don't know, but there's still a lot of them. Well, it's mine yeah, now. Called Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man-robot. Okay. <laughs> That. Okay, I need to find rubber. I'm stonewalled until then. Guess I'll get some more metal though while I'm at it. Oh, this has a limited durability. I should keep that in mind as I break things. Let's see, what else can I break? I can break this. Rubber! There was a there was a third item, but I think I sent it flying. Whoops. Gotta be very careful about zero G. You're still going? Huh. I stream until 10. Why are people confused by this? Like, this is twice now. There are people like, what? I don't understand you guys. <laughs> Also, I can make this though. <laughs> Alright, what, what what did I what did I just make? There we go. <laughs> um Hmm. Yellowish water, by the way. 
Made from ordinary water by natural alkalization through the kidneys. Yep, sounds about right. Should probably just store the stuff I'm not using. There we go. Alright, I guess I'll... What do I do with this? What? I've done it. The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working. Oh shit! I could kill myself with this. Small electrical charges to improve your engineering. I just, I just knocked out of a third of my health. Whoops. Hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless um, motivation. Where does, where does, where does this go? Where do you want me to put this? Confirm. Confirm. Oh, I see. Um, I guess that's fine. I'm confused. What do I do with this? <laughs> I have a mark. Oh, wait, wait. Why is this one particular corpse highlighted? Hold up. Okay. So, that's really far away. I don't know what... What is my fucking objective? Hold on. What's the last thing they said? Get to the evacuation point. Pre to prep so we can tell you about unique upgrades. Oh, I need to make it so they could tell me about unique upgrades. It does nothing. It does absolutely fucking nothing. But it's there so I know about upgrading. I had to make it so it told me about upgrading. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Uh, wait, my air goes down. Menus? Holy shit. I didn't even realize. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. Am I the only one that gets annoyed about Asterisk telling me about new things? I mean, I like it, but... Like, I, I feel OCD and I have to edit it. Let's look at scan. Well, I'm just going to break some more containers and, and get more plastic, I suppose. I said something flying at one point. Where'd it go? That's actually it, isn't it? There's a blueprint. It was a blue. It was a bear battery. Yeah, good. Um, no, I have one. Cool, I unlocked something. Let's go see what I unlock. Here also, it just bothers me. I have to remove it. I legitimately, I think I have OCD. I, I think, pretty sure. Um, okay, let's see. It's useful sometimes. Let's see. Battery. I can make that with alkali. Uh, I'm nowhere close to making this stuff, so that's not very helpful. I can make a drill. I need refined metal and thick electrical tape. I, I need more rubber. But once I do that, I can make a drill. Potentially useful. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Before I go back out. Make another one of these. This, the one I have is almost broken. So it would be a smart idea to have a second. All right, let's break that casket open now, because that seems very polite. Actually. Cool. Surprisingly easy to drift away from the thing I want to break. When I doubt, break shit. 
Yeah, if I, I will complain about this with the game. I personally feel the starting amount of oxygen you have is really, really, really too limited. I honestly would probably have put it at 100 if I were developing the game. Because it's a little bit obnoxious to have such a limited distance to travel. I'm, I'm attempting to pay attention and see if there is indeed a way I can quickly get a faster means of... Uh, I don't see any oxygen tanks or anything, though, so, you know, I know they have to exist. It's pretty obvious, but as of right now, it doesn't seem very doable, so. Oh, I need a crowbar for that, right. That's fine. The number of knockdown elderly women is impressive, as well as the fact that elderly women might be run over in space at all. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> that was a little close. I mean, I'm guessing I would just take damage, but... Alright. When in doubt, break everything around me. Let's make another scrapper and we'll go to town on things. But this is fun. Honestly, it is pretty fun besides that one gripe I have. <sighs> it's so easy to fall past things. This is actually the main reason I have a problem with the auction. It's very, very, very easy to just fly, fly past the objects hey, I'm trying to get to. The advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. <laughs> it's very, because of the GRG, it's so easy to float past things, so it takes me a little longer to, like, line myself up to get an item. And because of that, the limited oxygen becomes a little bit more obnoxious. Was, is there an option? Here, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure there wasn't, but let's double check. Let's actually triple check. But if we look very carefully, under equipment there is an enhanced spacesuit. It adds radiation protection plus 50. There's also a helmet that adds radiation protection plus 25. Nope, no oxygen increases. So yes, there is this stuff I can make here that I can't make, by the way, because I need glass and lead paint. I haven't found those yet. But even if I could make them, they wouldn't add me oxygen. I can make a drill soon. Actually, I can make a drill now. No, I can't. I need more rubber. Um... I also need alcohol for... Yeah. There's just no... I mean, there maybe is a blueprint floating around somewhere. But for right now, no. There's no way for me to increase my oxygen. Which is a bit lame. There should, that should be a starting item, if nothing else. Also, that big part of the ship over there, I should check that out. As soon as I have more oxygen, I want to check that area over there out. If indeed I can get more oxygen. I assume I can. Also, one other thing to note is that if I run into an object... It goes careening off into the distance, so I might lose something very important with my overshooting. Through no fault of my own, really. <laughs> Just bad aim, I guess. Like, look, I was just trying to grab those two balls really fast before going back in the ship. Look how much time it took me. I was just trying to do one sweep, but it didn't work out. Even if I can get that helmet, it won't... I can't actually, uh... Yeah. Ice times two. Some water. Kind of resupply myself a bit. Sorry for all the noise outside, if you guys can hear the fucking subwoofer somebody's playing. It's purely for radiation resistance, that stuff, so... Yep. Alright, fuck it. I'll go down to this. I think I have enough time. There's also a... You know what? Let me just see what happens if I... I get a battery out of it. Also get some plastic. Okay. I want to check that weird pink place down there, but I can't quite reach it. 
in a reasonable period of time. Oh, here we go. Scissors! Sounds useful. Hold on. Shears. It's really pointless tool designed by a developer to avoid making complex finger animation with normal scissors. What? I mean, I'm gonna guess that's useful. Give me them. <clears throat> and I want another handy scrapper. Also, I'm constantly getting messages from another survivor who just has the hots for me, I guess. All right. Uh, didn't I need more thick electrical tape or something? Yeah, a drill. So we can make a drill now. I would think I could get into the coffin with a drill. 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 Not drool. You can get into a lot of things with drool. Well, drool is an indicator that you should get in something, more or less, but... Um, so let's store some stuff. Right, so we got the, uh, one, two, three, and four. All right, let's see if that works. Off we go then. I'm gonna go risk my oxygen this time. I wanna go down. Is that a container or a radio? Probably. Oh, it's a tape recorder. Well, I'm gonna give Taurus in the mouth. Can I break these? Is this the thing I can have? Well, I, I guess it is actually. So that gets me aluminum. Actually, didn't I need aluminum for something? I feel like I did, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Aluminum was for something. Let's go take a look. Let's go try to get in the doorway. All right. <laughs> was it a soup part? It might have been a soup part. Aluminum was indeed a soup part. So... I could make a helmet and see if it maybe increases my. It might increase oxygen. Who knows? To make that, I will need to get some glass and lead paint, though, as well. So, which we don't currently know how to get, but I assume I can get some if I keep looking. Also, give me give me one second. I'm gonna get some messages from my uh, roommate. They might be important. Give me a moment. All right. Well, he'll answer whenever. What was I doing? I completely forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Just looking for stuff. I got a little supply of aluminum now. That's a good thing. Seems to be something below me that's not that far away, but kind of still too far away, so I'll check it out in a minute. It's not really that blaring. Oh, do you mean the blaring sirens in my real-life environment? Or do you mean the blaring sirens of the game whenever I'm low oxygen? Blood said there's an oxygen upgrade under one of the wrecks in the start area. Maybe that's what I'm maybe that's what's down here. Let's go take a look. Well, let me check this. The first. largest condom in the world, and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. 
Oxygen can. Wait, what? Give me, give me all of these. They sound useful. Holy shit! Float into it. Okay. I. Well, I got something. <laughs> Oh, I may have I may have cut it a little too close. Fine. Eat it off, it's fine. I don't seem to know how to recover my health though, so that's unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Oxygen candle. Oxygen plus forty. You can't help oxygen. Okay. Oxygen balloon. Oxygen drug plus 25. So I can restore my oxygen with an oxygen candle. Which requires metal and battery. Okay. I can also make this with a condom wire. So with a condom, I can make an oxygen tank. But as it stands, I right now have to consume oxygen with candles. I, I'm not big on that, but okay. To be fair, I have a lot of metal and batteries, so I guess it's fine. I need more metal. I'm gonna get some. Let's, let's make up what we can. All right, so we have to keep an eye out for metal or condom. We have to keep an eye out for a condom then. All right, good. Right. I'm not gonna use any right now because I'm gonna use it on big excursion. But, uh, I need metal. It looks like it, but that also means that if I misplan this, I will not have oxygen for very long, you know? But let me just get a little bit more metal. I will say it feels this game feels a tad on the tedious side with some of the, with the oxygen issue. I would just I mean Subnautica gives you a reasonable amount of oxygen I feel right off the get go and then it doesn't feel terribly difficult to increase. That's my opinion about it. One other thing I need. Actually, no, I don't. I could get it anyways. Got what I basically needed. Um, yeah, but Subnautica, I'd already have. Yeah, Subnautica, I played it a bit. I would, I would be in slightly better shape in Subnautica. So, also give me a second again. One sec, there's a issue with some plans tomorrow, so. Well, whatever. Our timer's almost out for this game anyways. I'll just finish this game up and then we'll, and then I'll have a little side conversation. This seems reasonable.
Um, oh, fuck it. Let's just go down to whatever this is. Everything all right? No, well, I'm, I've, I have burger plans with my roommate tomorrow. But he also had some plans with other friends. And those friends suddenly changed their plans and won't budge. And so, basically, his other friends are basically being like, well, either show up charm or don't hang out with me, more or less. The service supply compartment. Almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be lucky if you managed to get inside. Also, the hit detection is really poor on this. All right, hold on. I need to talk to him, actually, but I'll do it after the between games. I think I bought another one. There can be no mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Say what now? You must carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of parts and a light taste of despair. <laughs> All right, I have, I can make an oxygen station now, which I guess means I can establish an indoor environment with oxygen, I suppose. So what do I think of this game? I mean, I like I do dig its sense of humor. It is a very good ship posting sort of sense of humor, and I do like it. Uh, but I do have a problem with the pace of the game. I think it is a bit poor. I will be honest. A hole in the oh god. Now, I almost died. A hole in the rubber. What am I supposed to do with this hole in the rubber? There's like a hole here now. Can I do something with it? Really can't tell. That actually, that shock actually hurt a hell of a lot. Oh boy. All right. I mean, long dark is pretty good. <clears throat> I'm just gonna explore a bit. I got oxygen tanks. Finish up this uh, hour by exploring. So yeah, I... By the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Unequipped. It is unlikely that he suffocated for this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Yeah, there's a sex... There was a sex crime here. Interesting. I wonder why things are so pink down here. This. Oh wait, you know, he betrayed our marriage, pervert traitor. He deserved it. Waiting in the cabin for the wife to leave. I just realized. Note is written by a woman who can professionally handle stationary items. There's got to be a condom here, right? <laughs> wait, did I get one? I got one. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's make the oxygen take and see how much that adds. I did actually get one apparently. <laughs> Pink equals gay or otherwise sexual activities. Yes. Logical place for condom. All pink places have condoms. Sometimes very, 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 very literally. After all, you put a condom in a pink place now, don't you? <laughs> Plastic and thick electrical tape. All right. Let's, uh... I didn't actually finish faking it, God damn it! There we go. Make an oxygen station at any time now. I'd rather, oh, I need another plastic. I kind of like this, but I mean, I, let's see here. Now that I have the oxygen tank, maybe things will be a bit better. Is that just something that? Ups my uh, oxygen. How do I equip it? Is there a way to equip items? Is there is probably right here. So condom, condom oxygen tank that you know do with what do what you will with what works, I suppose. Set up to buy fifteen. 
It's not really all that much more, but it's not too bad. This game seems all right. I might come back to this, play with it more, because, I mean, it really doesn't seem too bad. I just need to, like, kind of branch out a bit more, probably, and see what else I can find. So I might come back to this if I feel like it. We'll see. It's like I was bouncing, alright. Well, yeah, that's Breath Edge. I... Oh yeah, I should probably save. Okay, cool. Let's see. 25, not 15, which is 50% more oxygen. Still not that long, Beerus. Yeah, it's not... It's still kind of... Less than what I think Subnautica starts you with as far as, like, the number of seconds you have. Of course, Subnautica also required you to travel. I mean, Subnautica, you had this whole plane, you had oxygen, and then you dove down, and then you had stuff you could find, so... You had more chances to recover your oxygen in Subnautica than in this game. Where I have to go to specify points to recover my oxygen. So, a little tedious. Not bad, not bad. I, uh, I need to play it more to really get form a full opinion. But it definitely seems pretty solid aside from this one oxygen issue. So yeah, uh, it might be worth it. Really depends on what you think.